My first guest tonight is an Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor. She directed and stars in the new movie Moxie, which is streaming now on Netflix. You have to watch it. It is so good. Here is Amy Poehler. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. See, ah, I missed you, buddy. It's so good to see you. Hey, hi, Jimmy. I'm so happy to be here. I want to get into uh, Moxie and what a great job you did directing that. And uh, uh, But it was so great to see you hosting the Golden Globes. Uh, uh, you were fantastic. You were so funny. Uh, you look great. But uh, it, I know from hosting these award shows, it is a lot of work. I can't imagine what it was like hosting one during a pandemic. Yeah, you know what it's like. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. And I had, it was interesting because I had like new stress dreams. You know, <laughs> usually your dreams are that you're going to, you know, say the wrong thing or you're going to you know, fall, but I, I was having these like technological stress dreams <laughs> that, you know, was just going to disappear. Just like, bloop. Like bad, edit, like the audio going out or something or people cutting oh. to the wrong camera. Mm, all those, like basically like a living Zoom nightmare is what I was having. But yeah. it was kind of, it was like a Kubrick film because every, the audience was masked and quiet wow. and spread out and just kind of staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work, and uh, man, I can, uh, on behalf of everyone who uh, uh, saw it, thank you so much. Um, uh, I, 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 like a lot of people during this past year, I've heard that you've gotten into TikTok. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, big time. Whoa. Big talk. Talk to me. Big time. Really? Well, you know what I do like about it a lot is that I like that it takes an idea, audio, and it kind of, you know, like people just decide how they're going to deconstruct something. And so I like that, you know, a joke just gets keep, keeps getting done and then changed into something else or the pastiche of it all. Someone takes someone's audio and someone's video and then yeah. comments. It's just like, it feels very DIY. Um, and then uh, uh, speaking of Golden Globes, um, I saw Leron Hines, the great sweet Leron Hines, who is a, like a TikTok star, dare I say, and he interviews kids at his mom's daycare in Mississippi, and and he ends, we ended up having him on, on the Golden Globes. Isn't that cool? That's amazing that you, I, I love that part. That was great. That's wild. Yeah. I did, I, I'm, I'm doing more TikToks, but I did my first one, and I want to say it took me like three hours to do. There I go. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do any. I don't do any. I don't. I don't add any value to TikTok. I just watch it and go, oh, man, she's right. right. That's good. You gotta love it. I'm like, oh, that's what that button does. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's what TikTok helps me with. Um, oh, I can, that's how I can clean my sink. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I do. I love the hacks. Show me a better way to fold my chip bag. And you got me for life. Dude, what's this thing about frying cheese? I never knew that you, you, if you fried cheese like really thin, you could use that as kind of like the bread almost. Oh boy, that's gonna. No, it's insane. I've already, yeah, it's just, if, just watching it. I just, I immediately ran out of frame. <laughs> you started, <laughs> you heard the sizzling sound of cheese. <laughs> uh, I, I, look, I, I know you as a, a great uh, comedian, a writer, an actor, uh, and I know you directed but now you directed your second movie, um, Moxie. It is on Netflix now. It is fantastic, and I just want to say I love it because I have two girls now, and I don't know if I'm also a coming-of-age movie fan, but I don't know if there is a movie that, that's kind of like this movie, that's for girls where you... It's for everybody, I mean, but I feel like there's nothing out there for my girls to watch where they go like, oh, yeah, that's an awesome message. That is so cool. Uh, I just loved it. I thought it was well done. Thank you bottom. very much. I mean, I, you, we grew up with the same movies, right? So I always loved those high school movies that had, you know, kind of the quiet female protagonist like Molly Ringwald, if you will, who was watching the action and trying to figure out how to participate in it. And, you know, the book that it was based on was, a, you know, written by a, a high school teacher. And we really wanted it to feel like what high school feels like. High stakes, big feelings. It really is a high stakes. I mean, when you're, especially when you're in high school, it's like you don't, now we're older, I don't mm. think about that, but you're like, oh, no, no, this is the biggest thing in the world. Oh, big time. I mean, I mean, I, I, I have a feeling you and I had very similar high school experiences. I mean, I don't know about you, but I had a big high school, lots of different groups. Yeah. Very, you really had to kind of declare who you were. 
there was a lot of lists, like a lot of superlative, like inappropriate superlatives. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I can even say anymore. But yeah, I, I know I, you can't. Like, I know we had like class flirt and best couple and best eyes and cutest, and it was like, God, <laughs> why don't you just put yeah, exactly. nice rack on there? And call it a day. <laughs> That's what I want. You got nice rack? Yeah, in high school. That was me. <laughs> Thank you. I was excited. I'll take what I you get. Had a, you had so. a really nice. You had a really nice rack on your car on the top of your car. <laughs> like horns and stuff. It wasn't real animal, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, nice rack. It's just one. Can you tell everyone what uh, Moxie is about? Sure. So it's um, Moxie is about a 16-year-old girl who um, is trying to figure out how she fits into her high school. Um, she has a mom who is a more extroverted rebel girl past. And she uh, she doesn't know how to speak up and, and speak out against the things that uh, are bothering her and that are dangerous in her school. So she gets inspired by a zine and she makes one and she leaves it in her school and it's taken over by the other women in the school. And together they try to bring the system down. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Amy Poehler in her new movie, Moxie. Take a look at this. Me and my friends, we protested everything. One time someone told our friend Sarah that she smelled and none of us showered for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. But how did you know what to do? Like how to protest something? We didn't. You know, we made a ton of mistakes. We argued with each other. We weren't intersectional enough. We called our meetings powwows. Oh, <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you're glad you did it all, right? Of course. What are you going to do, nothing? Amy Poehler, everybody. Moxie is streaming now on Netflix. By the way, congrats on it being number one movie on Netflix, bud. That's the way to How do cool. it. That is the way to do it, Amy Poehler.